go to our Emma Hogue, who found some protesters outside that event in Hampton today. Emma? Sharon, as you just mentioned, Hillary Clinton just wrapped up her speech, and as attendees are walking to their cars, they'll be sure to notice all of the signs that protesters put out hours ago. Now, they tell me that this is something that they'll continue to do at events like this one up until November 8th. I'm very happy. I wanted to see her for a long time, you know. As hundreds of Clinton supporters line up to hear the nominee speak. I'm a Democrat, been a Democrat for several years. Uh, not several years, many, many years. Protesters in Hampton and at the East Moline Labor Day Parade are also taking a stand. Straight ticket Republican. I don't believe in the things that she stands for, and I do believe in the things Donald Trump stands for. Registered Republican Raylan Spearley Schraco says it's a topic she's passionate about. This is a, this is a public awareness. People need to start paying attention and start looking into these people that are running for our public offices. Schrago says she's voted in every election since being eligible and that this year won't be any different. I will probably be voting for Trump uh, as an anti Hillary uh, protest vote. I'm not real thrilled with Trump either, but he's a lot better than Hillary. Hanging and holding signs, she says she's ready for change. She's a criminal. She needs to be in jail, not running for the highest seat in our land. Uh, she has a long, long history of crime. Aiming to promote her political values at events like this one up until November 8th. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to feel that we've accomplished uh, what we came to do, and that's uh, public awareness. Now, the protesters also tell me that they plan to be out here until all the attendees have left the event. Reporting live in Hampton, Emma Hogue, KWQC TV 6 News. All right, Emma. Now